Hello everyone, I'm Mo Qureshi, the Director of Partnerships at BSD Education and in this video I'm going to talk about some questions around EdTech. So some people define it as three stages, some as five, some as four. I'm going to go with four stages and the four stages are decomposition, abstraction, pattern recognition and algorithm design. Now how this works is decomposition is you look at an idea or a problem or an event and you decompose it. So you break that into smaller components or pieces. That's step number one. Next is abstraction. Is you look at uh, focusing on what are the most important components of that idea or of that situation or that problem. And then once you have the focus, then the third one is pattern recognition looking at what are the commonalities or the similar components that are flowing into it. And that common aspect is, is important because then you lead to the fourth stage, which is creating an algorithm. That means a step-by-step -step process for solving that. Now, one question that comes by is, why is computational thinking so important? Uh, there are two reasons for it. One is we are surrounded by computers uh, all around and they help us or enable us to solve problems. That's one. And the second is, uh, as the world is growing and expanding, the complexity of problems is increasing and also the variety of problems is, is, is increasing. So we need to solve problems at scale and we need to solve the problems consistently. And that's when published thinking becomes important. The final thing that I'd like to add is computational thinking or CT as it's called is not used in isolation and it should not be used in isolation. It should go hand in hand with DT or design thinking, uh, which is an extremely important component for solving problems uh, with a humane touch. Uh, and step one for DT is empathy. So understanding and empathizing with people uh, who are facing an issue with a problem and then solving.